Hi, my name is Christopher Height, and I write the blog Tom Payne's Ghost, and I like to throw out my thoughts, my unsolicited thoughts on topics of moral significance sometimes, and so I want to tell you about my problem with the trolley problem. Um, I've heard this over and over in more and more uh, discussions of the evolution of human morality as studied by functional MRI or fMRI scans of the human brain when they're asked different questions and uh, what you see is that uh, there are different areas of the brain that light up based on having an analytical cold calculating response to a moral dilemma or there is another brain in the lower brain that lights up uh, when there is an emotional respons response to an ethical or moral dilemma. So I just want to describe you the one of these scenarios. So in the in the standard trolley problem, you are standing by a railroad track when you notice that a trolley with no one aboard is rolling down the track heading for a group of five people. They will all be killed if the trolley continues on its present track. The only thing you can do to prevent these five deaths is to throw a switch that will divert the trolley onto a side track where it will kill only one person. When asked what you should do in these circumstances, most people say that you should divert the trolley onto the side track, thus saving four lives. In another version of the problem, the trolley, as before, is about to kill five people. This time, however, you are not standing near the track, but on a footbridge above the track. You cannot divert the trolley. You consider jumping off the bridge in front of the trolley, thus sacrificing yourself to save the imperiled people. But you realize that you are far too light to stop the trolley. Standing next to you, however, is a very large stranger. The only way you can stop the trolley killing five people is by pushing this large stranger off the footbridge in front of the trolley. If you push the stranger off, he will be killed, but you will save the other five. When asked what you should do in these circumstances, most people say that you should not push the stranger off the bridge. Now, when Joshua Green at Princeton University did this, asked these questions and described these two scenarios to people that were in the fMRI machine, he saw that in the first scenario, when the, it, the question was, would you pull a lever to save the five and sacrifice the one person, um, the analytical area of the brain uh, lit up. Uh, and then in the second scenario, when asked if you would push the fat man, um, the emotional part of the brain lit up and the answers were flipped. In the first scenario, most people, nine out of 10, would pull the lever to save the five. Uh, and in the latter scenario, most people wouldn't push the fat man, even though theoretically the numbers are the same. Here's my problem with the trolley problem. Anybody who's ever thought of, done the thought experiment of pulling a lever to change the direction of a, tr a train or a trolley, that's a, that's a pretty um, binary function. It's either one way or the other. You're pulling a very mechanical lever. Pushing a human being, first of all, even though the scenario describes it, that it, it, you're sure that you're going to stop the trolley, there, it's not just that you're, you're calculating differently in your brain. It's that you, you're calculating risk totally differently because whenever I hear that trolley problem described, in the second scenario, when you have to push the large man in front of the, the trolley, for me, as I'm thinking about it rapidly, I'm thinking, there's no guarantee that I won't kill him and all these other people. And so I think that even though it's easy to kind of jump to a conclusion when you're you know, comparing these two dramatic results that Joshua Green sees, I don't think it's valid. I think that there's actually a risk assessment uh, factor that may be playing out in the brains of people that are asked this question, even though you know the language is clear that when you push the large person you're going to stop the trolley, in reality, in this you know, thought experiment you're doing in your mind, 
you don't know if that large man is actually going to stop the train. So in, in that case, I think that the reason that people don't say that they would push the guy to stop the trolley, it's because of that uncertainty factor as opposed to pulling a lever. I mean, a mechanical lever, unless it's broken, is going to work. Whereas pushing a guy, you're not quite sure. So there's, so it's almost like, you know, the, the tendency of these neuroscientists is to say, oh, well, there's this an emotional response um, that, that doesn't have any reason to it, that, you know, is, is not calculated, it's not analytical, it's just this emotional uh, ick factor of having to actually touch a person. But I think that there's another layer to this. I think there's another analytical layer that's happening in people's brains that isn't being asked by all these people that keep talking about the trolley problem. And that's this uh, uncertainty principle of, if I push this big guy to stop this train, how do I know what's going to work? So I, I think there's a, you know, it's a sexy experiment, it's a very intriguing experiment, but I don't think the uh, analysis of the data has has been uh, discussed enough in terms of uh, why those differences in the uh, areas of the brain lighting up are lighting up. I think that there's this whole other layer of risk assessment that's not being uh, integrated into the, the follow-up discussions. Anyway, um, that's my thought tidbit for the night. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the trolley problem because it's something that I've thought about a lot as I've been talking about the evolutionary origins of morality in human beings. Um, yeah, I'll just keep it short and sweet. Have a great night. Happy St. Patrick's Day and uh, we'll see you on the blog.